Hi everyone, I hope you're feeling very well and welcome to a new What I Eat In A Day video with some new gluten-free vegan recipes. For breakfast I made a very delicious, amazing nectarine baked oats, which turned out so very well. I added rolled oats, salt and cinnamon into a bowl, then I chopped some soft dates and added them in there, and then I stirred it all around. I also added some almond milk, and some tahini. Then I slice two nectarines, which is my favorite fruit at the moment. I added a small amount of the oat mix in the bottom then the nectarines and finishing with the rest of the oat mix on the top. I also added some extra slices of nectarines and chopped walnuts. I baked this one in the oven in 180 celsius degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. And this is how it turned out. If you like nectarines, you have to try this one. I served it with some tahini mixed with maple syrup, natural vegan soy yogurt and some extra cinnamon. So, let's make some gluten-free bread. So, the bread rolls I am making here is made of oat flour and rolled oats. I also added some salt, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, zillion powder and mix it all together. I crumbled the yeast into some water and stirred around. I also wanted some grated apple in these bread rolls, so I grated one red apple with the skin on and added it into the flour mix. Stirred around and also added the yeast water. And now we're gonna let this one rest for about two hours. Shape the bread rolls with some water on your hands. I made 14 small ones out of this dough. Bake them in the oven in 220 Celsius degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes and let them cool down completely before serving. Then I started to prepare my lunch 
which was going to be a delicious miso pasta with oven baked lentils. I prepared the pasta water and placed some cooked greens lentils on a baking tray with parchment paper. I then added some salt, black pepper, nutritional yeast and olive oil. Spread them out a bit so they will be crispy in the oven. I then boiled the pasta and prepared a simple romaine lettuce and cucumber salad with lemon juice. When the pasta is ready, drain it and add it into the saucepan again. Add miso paste, a crushed garlic clove, black pepper, nutritional yeast, chili flakes and some water. Then let it boil again a couple of minutes on low heat. Stir around so the pasta gets covered in all the flavors. At the end, squeeze some lemon juice over the pasta. I served this pasta dish with the baked crispy lentils on the top, the salad and some fresh herbs. As a snack, I had one of the bread rolls I made earlier that day. Then it was time for dinner and I was going to make a quinoa tofu and chickpea mix with avocado dressing. I cooked the quinoa, chopped some scallion and cooked them in a skillet with some water. You can also use olive oil if you prefer. I prepared a salad, some red cabbage, romaine lettuce again, cucumber and tomato. I also added some apple cider vinegar in there, some salt and black pepper. When the scallion is soft, I crumble the tofu and add the cooked greens chickpeas in the skillet. I then added tamari, chili flakes, garlic powder and nutritional yeast. I also added some sunflower seeds for some extra crunch. When the quinoa was ready I added it into the tofu chickpea mix. And then I serve this with the cabbage salad, avocado dressing, which just contains avocado, lemon juice, salt, black pepper and water.
and also some red onion and fresh basil on the top. I will add the full recipe in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and for being here, take care and I hope to see you in the next video.